In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Church remembers today St. Anthony Mary Claret, the bishop who founded the congregation of the Claritians. We used to know those in Africa, uh, when we, in Nigeria, when we worked there. So we remember them and their, and their founding father. Let's prepare ourselves now to celebrate our faith and we call to mind in the presence of God and each other that we have sinned. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. And the Masses today are offered for Antony and Vero Diana Fernandez, the repose of their souls, and also for Catherine um, Patton, likewise for the repose of her soul. O God, who for the evangelizing of the peoples strengthened the Bishop St. Anthony Mary Claret with admirable charity and long suffering, grant through his intercession that seeking the things that are yours, we may earnestly devote ourselves to winning our brothers and sisters to Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Each one of us has been given his own share of grace, given as Christ allotted it. It was said that he would, when he ascended to the height, he captured prisoners, he gave gifts to men. When it says he ascended, what can it mean if not that he descended right down to the lower regions of the earth? The one who rose higher than all the heavens to fill all things is none other than the one who descended. And to some, his gift was that they should be apostles, to some, prophets, to some, evangelists, to some, pastors and teachers, so that the saints together make up a unity in the work of service building up the body of Christ. In this way, we are all to come to unity in our faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God until we become the perfect man, fully mature with the fullness of Christ himself. Then we shall not be children any longer or tossed one way and another and carried along by every wind of doctrine, at the mercy of all the tricks men play and their cleverness in practicing deceit. If we live by the truth and in love, we shall grow in all ways into Christ, who is the head by whom the whole body is fitted and joined together, every joint adding its own strength for each separate part to work according to its function. So the body grows until it has built itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house, and now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. 
I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. Let's stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I take pleasure not in the death of a wicked man, says the Lord, but in the turning back of a wicked man who changes his ways to win life. Alleluia. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips so that I may be worthy to proclaim your holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some people arrived and told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with that of their sacrifices. At this he said to them, do you suppose these Galileans who suffered like that were greater sinners than any other Galileans? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 on whom the Tower of Siloam fell and killed them, do you suppose that they were more guilty than all the other people living in Jerusalem? They were not, I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. He told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it, but found none. He said to the man who looked after the vineyard, look here, for three years now I have been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and finding none. Cut it down. Why should it be taking up the ground? Master, the man replied, leave it one more year and give me time to dig around it and manure it. It may bear fruit next year. If not, then you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. We don't know historically about these two events. Certainly we knew that Pilate, the, governor, the Roman governor, was capable of, of um, as it said there, uh, mingling the blood of people offering sacrifices, presumably in the temple. It was a kind of a desecration of the imperial occupying power, a disaster. And then uh, the, the, the Tower of Siloam, Siloam in, in, in Jerusalem, that fell again, we, we don't know, 18 people, killed, a, a natural disaster, we might call it. Um, but Jesus t t uses these as, if you like, a sign from heaven, so to speak, a, a sign that perhaps we all need repentance. We, all, it, it, we can learn from things that happen, even disasters that happen, and they can lead us uh, towards God um, instead of just wringing our hands and saying how, how, how horrible. We have um, these days, the letter of Pope Francis, Fratelli Tutti, uh, addressed to all peoples in a very distressed world. And he, he begins again, it's almost parallel with that gospel. He begins about speaking, he begins by speaking about um, populist materialism, polarized political debates. That reminds you of something. Um, 
the global pandemic, of course, which is, uh, it, it, it started writing this, but the pandemic came along and it has proved well that our free, um, um, free mar market is not working. Um, we're not in control. Um, hatred on social media. Uh, as one Roman official said, this, this letter, uh, it, it's a kick in the teeth for the rising tide of barbarism. It's a very strong statement. Um, but I suppose what, what, what Pope Francis is saying to us, can we learn, like Jesus said about those two disasters, can we learn? And yeah, I'll just quote this sentence from him. Unless we recover the shared passion to create a community of belonging and solidarity worthy of our time, our energy, and our resources, the global illusion that has misled us will collapse and leave many in the grip of anguish and emptiness. Well, we had in that first reading, living the truth in love. That's what Pope Francis is offering, if you like, as a, an antidote to what's going on around us. Community and fraternity. We belong to each other. work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Pray, sisters and brothers, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven <coughs> are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread 
and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Anthony Mary Claret, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to pray. He said, when you pray, say this, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And we offer with, our, with a bow to each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not bring me to judgment or condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. The Son of Man has come to give his life as a ransom for many. Eucharistic minister we have.
body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Just a reminder, the, the letter of Pope Francis um, is worth reading. It's not an easy reading, but it's worth reading. He uses the images of um, the parable of the Good Samaritan. In, in, it's, it's for hu human familial fraternity that he's promoting as a cure to our present ills. And the Good Samaritan, it wasn't the expected people, it was the unexpected ones, the Samaritan. Uh, not the priest, not the Levite, the Samaritan who helped the, the man who had been uh, beaten up. And then the other th example he gives is of St. Francis of Assisi during the Crusades, making the hazardous journey to Egypt, overland to Egypt, and, um, and meeting the, the chief uh, Muslim um, leader there uh, to try to to create peace between Islam and Christianity. So it's, humanity has within itself the seeds of its own redemption uh, in the truth and love of God. Let us go forth to announce the gospel of the Lord. Amen.